A very warm welcome to 1000 PS TV. We are here in Portugal and have the chance to test the brand new Triumph Tiger Sport 660. So, how much Tiger can be found in the Triumph Tiger Sport 660? Triumph sees the 660 as part of its adventure sports family. Unlike all the other Tigers, however, it comes with a purely street-oriented 17 inches wheel set. The manifolds of the glorious 3-cylinder are also exposed without protection and ground clearance is very limited due to the underfloor exhaust. In short, the Tiger Sport 660 is clearly at home on paved roads, which puts it more in the sport touring or crossover category. When I first got on the Triumph Trident 660 for the first test in 2020, I had few expectations of the engine. Too strong were the memories of the three-cylinder in the street triple with its eternally long transmission and the country road unsuitable late power fireworks at five digit speeds. But it was all to be different. The 660 triple is a pawn and the significantly shorter selected gear ratio for the fast cornering hunt is spot on. Triumph has the best engine in its class with an unbelievably wide rev range and high fun factor which is fed by the constantly available torque. At least 90% of the maximum torque is available between 36.0 and 9750 revolutions per minute. This power unit also does wonderfully in the Tiger Sport 660. After all, it offers a high degree of smoothness, which allows relaxed marathon sessions in the saddle when traveling. In brief, here are the key technical data. The Tiger Sport 660 is fired by a 660cc 3-cylinder. Maximum power is 81 horsepower at 10,250 revolutions per minute and maximum torque of 64 Nm is available at 6250 revolutions per minute. In the A2 version, which is available with modified electronics and adapted throttle grip for less than 200 euros extra, just under 48 horsepower and 59 Nm maximum torque remain. The engine is not the only component taken from the Trident. Just as familiar from the naked biker brakes, exhaust, wheel dimensions and tires. The frame is also largely identical but the rear frame was newly manufactured and adapted to create more spacious conditions, especially for the pillion passenger. The handlebars have grown in height and width and are also tilted slightly further towards the right, in combination with the seat height, which has increased by 30 mm to 835 mm. The result is a very comfortable seating position in which even taller riders should be able to sit for a long time. However, the narrow middle section of the Sport Tour means that even smaller riders do not necessarily need to resort to the lower comfort seat available as an accessory. The crotch arch dimension required for a secure stance is pleasingly low. The knee angle is relaxed for both the driver and the passenger. Even the standard seat is pleasantly padded. Yet Triumph also offers a comfort seat for the regular seat height. The downside of the strong padding is that there is a lack of space under the seat and even the first aid kit should be small to be stowed. The Tiger Sport 660 naturally offers much better protection from unpleasant weather than its naked sister thanks to the fairing. However, due to the narrow design of the crossover bike, the lower legs are exposed to the wind. The thighs and middle of the body are better protected. However, with my size of 6 feet 2, the windshield, which can also be adjusted comfortably with one hand while riding, does not provide any protection for the helmet. The wind pressure is also noticeable on the shoulders even in the highest position. No disadvantage without an advantage. The low position of the shield allows the pilot to get enough fresh air in warmer temperatures. Even smaller pilots can find a position where they can easily see over the shield. Hand guards are available for the Tiger Sport 660 at an additional cost only. We rode an approximately 250 km test lap in Portugal, which, in addition to a few town crossings and a roughly 10% expressway portion, fortunately consisted mainly of a never-ending string of tighter and wider curves. Own game for the Tiger Sport 660, which with its epithet certainly raised expectations of its driving dynamics. The steering head angle of 24.6 degrees is identical to that of the Trident 660, known for its light-footedness, and the swing arm has grown slightly in length, resulting in a 16mm longer wheelbase on the Tiger Sport. The ready-to-ride 206kg machine can be thrown from one corner into the next with corresponding agility, without becoming too unstable. 
The suspension travel of 150 mm at the front and rear allows comfortable gliding. But the non-adjustable 41 mm Shaw USD fork in particular sinks noticeably under heavy braking and seems somewhat overtaxed at a brisk pace. The shock absorber, which is hydraulically adjustable via a practical hand wheel, does a somewhat better job and impresses with its clean response. With a non-adjustable chassis, a compromise always has to be found and the orientation towards comfort makes it difficult for the Tiger Sport 660 to be too sporty. The 310mm double disc brake system is, as already mentioned, also familiar from the Trident 660. The initial bite of the brake is quite brisk and the braking performance is basically appropriate for the vehicle category, but under heavy load the braking force does not increase to the extent that the initial bite would suggest. The transparent pressure point of a racing brake system should not be expected. In total, the brake still cuts a good figure. The abs always regulates pleasantly discreetly, it cannot be switched off. Triumph uses the tried and tested Michelin Road 5 as the standard tires, which proved to be a wonderful match for the motorcycle in the test. So you had to really look for dirt on the road to bring the traction control into the control range. The predictable and linear power delivery of the triple is simply in a class of its own. Already the standard equipment of the smallest Tiger puts the competition in the shade. The package of riding modes road and rain, freely configurable, Traction control and TFT display offers no other competitor. A nice feature are the comfort turn signals, which flash 3x when tap, as known from the automotive industry. If you press the lever harder, the indicator is on permanently. For an additional charge, gadgets such as connectivity system, running light indicators, heated grips and the highly recommended bi-directional quick shifter can be ordered. The recommendation stems, in addition to the famously perfect function Triumph Shift Assistance offer from the fact that the Tiger's clutch lever is not adjustable. In addition, operation, at least on my test bike, required a fair amount of hand strength, and that's despite the fact that it's a torque-assisted anti-hopping clutch. There is an optional USB or 12 volt power outlet to order. Unfortunately, the energy dispensers are positioned impractically under the seat. If you want to place the device to be charged on the handlebars, the cable has to be laid over the tank. An outlet in the cockpit would be desirable here, as there would be enough space for it. The Triumph engineers had the topic of touring suitability in the development of the Tiger Sport 660 probably bold in the specification. A payload of 223 kilograms is impressive not only in the middle class. There fits in addition to the pillion still neat luggage on the Sport Tour. Triumph has developed a suitable set of panniers for this purpose in collaboration with luggage experts Jib. The system can be locked with the vehicle key and is extremely discreetly fitted into the slim rear of the little Brit. If the 57 liter capacity of the two side cases is not enough, the 47 liter or two full face helmet capacity top case is also available. This comes with a backrest for the pillion passenger. If desired, all cases can be ordered with accents in the vehicle color, a higher windshield, a main stand or cruise control. All features that for many pilots now belong to a touring motorcycle are not available in the original accessories. To be fair, the latter is not currently available on any competitor model either except for the BMW F750GS. The technical data, which are not so sexy, also want to be discussed. 107 grams of CO2 emissions are recorded by the little Brit per kilometer ridden, converted into a practical value. That's 4.5 liters of gas per 100 kilometers according to Triumph's official data. In practice, after 250 kilometers, the display showed an average consumption of exactly 5 liters per 100 kilometers. Theoretically, the 17 liter fuel tank gives a range of 380 kilometers, and even at a brisk pace, 300 kilometers are possible at any time before you need to go to the nearest gas station. The homologated stationary noise of the Tiger Sport 660 is 94 dBA, in addition to the Corrosi Red graphite color variant we moved and which is 100 euros more expensive. The Tiger 660 Sport will be launched in the lucent blue, sapphire black color scheme or as a subtle graphite, black color combination. The sales launch is scheduled for February 2022. The prices of the Tiger Sport 660 are as follows. In Germany from 8,700 euros and in Austria from 9,895 euros. 